and Sarah from the upcoming and absolutely pleasure to be able to speak to you. If you could just kick off by introducing yourself and your role in this film. I'm Matt Carter, I'm the director, uh, co-writer, composer, <laughs> editor, I've done a few, few roles on this film, uh, and the film is in from the side. And what was the initial inspiration behind this film? It feels like, you know, we've seen a lot of sports dramas over the years, but why this specific story? So I've been involved in inclusive rugby for about eight years now, both as a player, a coach, a referee, and I think it's a really rich, vibrant world that I really wanted to bring to the screen because there's so much to give and it's such an interesting thing that, and I've not really seen many rugby films really on, on screen at all. Let alone sort of, you know, films about inclusive sport, and I thought that there's such a real powerful message there that, you know, for the benefit that can bring to getting people into sport as well. So yeah, that was kind of the inspiration for me. And what are some of the challenges of shooting a film like this? I guess like the pace of it, were there lots of long shoots like outside? What were some of the highs and lows? I mean, it's always challenging with independent film, especially on the lower budget, it's always difficult. But we all pulled together. We had some amazing cast, you know, this amazing crew who really helped make the whole thing happen. Loads of mates calling in favours for extras. You know, I, I just had lots of my old rugby mates came in to help out. Um, you know, it was just a brilliant shoot, went like a dream, you know, but it, it's so super stressful. But I think the proof is in the pudding, it all worked out really well, I think. And how did you decide on your main cast and how did you work with them to achieve your vision? Um, we, it was pretty traditional casting sort of environment. We put on the casting call that we rugby spirits would be great, but we, we first cast our lead and then we, we sort of had a couple people we chose between the second lead. We did some chemistry reads, but their chemistry was phenomenal. It was just such an easy choice when we found them. And, you know, why do you think it's important to kind of explore this area? Because it feels like... I mean, in the sport world, I, I think there's, is there even any, only one footballer who's kind of like uh, publicly out? And it feels like it's like one area where we're still a bit behind in terms of progress, in terms of acceptance, tolerance and people being able to be who they truly are. I think so. I think we, you know, we need to lead the way by showing examples that you know, sport is for queer people as well. And, you know, I think by having films like this, we can sort of inspire people to, to come out more, to be these kind of trailblazers that can inspire younger people to realise it's for them as well. I think you know, as a lot of queer people have a bad experience with sport in school, uh, for whatever reason, that can put people off and actually we just kind of start undoing that work. And I hope that our film can you know, in some part help that. And, you know, was this, like, based on a lot of, like, true experiences then? And how, how much do you think it's actually, you know, going on behind the scenes? How many people are suffering not being able to be who they really are? Well, I think, you know, I've been involved in sort of gay rugby for about eight years now. And, you know, it's, I've drawn from many of the stories, many of the clubs that I've experienced. And, you know, I think what's nice is it, it, it isn't kind of a film really about suffering as such. It's more, more about, you know, a, a, an uplifting, liberating story about, you know, seeing these people who are all comfortable with being who they are in this space and how powerful that can be and transformative that can be for people. And on that note, what do you hope people ultimately take away from watching your movie? I hope people, you know, watch the film and they think, you know, they thought, actually, you know, I, I've always fancied giving rugby a go or any sport that matter, you know, just thinking, oh, I'd love to get into sport, but actually realising maybe it is for them and they can sort of you know, give it a go and try and get, you know, get in contact with their local sports club, whatever that is. And how does it feel to have your film here at BFI and at the BFI Flair Festival? It's a, you know, an absolute dream come true. I mean, it's a film set in London. It's so it's perfect to have its home premiere here at the Flair, you know, the BFI in London, on South Bank. But it's a dream. It couldn't be better. And, do you know, festivals like this, obviously, like, offering a platform and it feels like there are more and more films that are, you know, exploring queer stories. But do you think that it's, you know, this is a sign of good progress or there's still a way to go to have more representation on screen? I mean, there's always a way to go. I think, you know, we, we're never going to reach this end goal, but I think films, you know, films, so other films at the festival as well really help kind of promote that kind of representation and showing that, you know, sport is for everyone, really. And do you know what you're going to work on next after this film? Uh, I've got a few ideas, but nothing I can share other right now, but I've got a couple of things in the pipeline yet. Amazing. So nice to chat to you. Enjoy the evening. Thank Brilliant. you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers.